this device is called Buzzer. Imagine, well, first of all, Buzzer is something like you applied uh, voltage to it, then it will uh, emit sound simply. Okay, this is called Buzzer. Imagine uh, you try in your IA, you try to investigate this Buzzer. Uh, let's say you want to apply for independent variable uh, you want to apply different voltage onto it and then the dependent variable could be something like how uh, loud it is the loudness it is okay so how do you adjust the voltage think about it maybe you can pause the video you may be thinking using the power supply right like the one here in the picture uh, as you know uh, you can adjust the voltage output um, think about this for the voltage output uh, maybe this you know this picture the power supply I gave you here is pretty good you can see you can adjust up to one decimal place okay one decimal place but for the one that we have at school we can only adjust from 0 to maybe 15 uh, in the integer number so like 0, 1, 2, 3 right? you can't adjust 2.1, 2.5, 2.7 you can't adjust the first decimal place so it will be I mean even if you can try to adjust the voltage it would not be a very regular voltage because at the end of the day uh, the output voltage is not exactly the same if you try to put a voltmeter to measure it it would not be exactly the same as the one on the power supply as shown because the wire that you use will also have resistance okay and also uh, the power supply itself also has internal resistance so what is the best way to adjust the voltage especially when you when you don't have you know such a refined scale maybe for a buzzer like this if you apply more than 5v it will basically kill the buzzer because it just can't take that high voltage so how could you take more data sets because if you remember in your IA you you have to have at least seven sets of data and doing voltage from zero to well zero I don't think you can count as one of the data one to five you only have five set of data so how can you come up with two more set of data it would not be achievable if you simply adjust the power supply so here is a very important uh, but very classic way to do it is by using the idea of potential divider okay so imagine the buzzer that we have is simply a electrical component where it will take voltage also with certain resistance but then uh, instead of heating up it would emit sound in terms of the energy so imagine that buzzer is right here this is the buzzer and what you do instead of just simply connecting like originally let's say what you may be thinking of is uh, the buzzer connected to the uh, power supply or the battery okay let's say power supply all right and you may have an ammeter and then maybe a voltmeter to measure it and then you just adjust the power supply all right as i said this is not a very good way so how you may be making it better is like what we have in this circuit here so what you do is uh, you still have your emitter and voltmeter connected to the buzzer like how you do normally uh, series for the emitter parallel for the voltmeter but you also add a long wire or a resistor that you can adjust um, where you can have a we call like a jumper or like a head to adjust the position along this resistive wire okay and so what happened is while you are moving from x this point x to point y then the resistance uh, will be changed because you know length is proportional to resistance or the other way around you may say 
and so this circuit will actually become something like this these two will be parallel and this one will be alone and then they will, these two will be in series to each other the best part of this is that uh, you can then by moving along this S uh, you can adjust how much voltage the buzzer will take think about it because while you are moving you know from X to Y with the the head of S then you are more like adjusting the ratio of R1 and R2 and so since if you have more resistance here or less resistance here then this whole thing will take either more voltage or less voltage all right in a very refined amount while keeping your input voltage constant all right so this is some way that you can do and if you don't understand let me give you an example here okay so let's say this is the same circuit as i said uh, again this is the buzzer let's say the buzzer has uh, 10 ohm okay and this whole long wire from x to y also has 10 ohm okay from x to y along the whole way so think about that what would be the extreme or the range of voltage that this buzzer could be you may want to pause the video and think about what is the range of the voltage you can provide to the buzzer by moving s along x y pause the video and think about it okay so think about this uh well i shouldn't i just have said uh the power supplied by the battery let's say it is um 24 or maybe 24 is too high it's, it's too too much let's say it's uh simply 5v how about that um what you can do is you can move as either from the beginning at x as we think about the extreme so let, let's make it as extreme then if it is at x then this whole circuit will become something like this um, like this emitter and then this is 10 ohm which is the buzzer voltmeter and then here is 10 ohm right 5b so what happened in this case think about it um, I forgot one why yeah. what happened in this case is nothing would go inside yes nothing would go inside all right so because uh, here is zero zero resistance right so basically this is short circuit so whole, all 5v will be here in this case and for these these parts they will basically take zero v in this case does it make sense Okay, this is when when S is at X. Okay, I think about the other extreme is that when S is at Y, basically. Okay, so when X is at Y, you can write it down somewhere on your note. Then let me redraw the whole thing. Then apparently, this whole 10 ohm will be here instead. Okay, so the circuit, oops would look like this all right 10 ohm which is the x and y and then a and then this is the buster 10 ohm this is v all right and there is nothing here and so what happened is um, we would have these two sharing all the 5v Right, because there's nothing here this is zero ohm and so all five feet will be shared among uh, i mean this is a parallel circuit so each of these we have five v this is also having five v also so voltmeter will be five v and that actually means in that case uh, once you set up such circuit then you can simply adjust the voltage on the buzzer the one that you want to investigate in your experiment or even your ia without changing 
the input voltage this is like the maximum you want so if say the buzzer can only take up to 5v then set this as 5v but if you somehow your buzzer can take somehow a higher input voltage let's say 10v then of course you may want to set it as 10v and then while you are moving along here you're moving along here then the voltage on your buzzer will be higher and higher and higher from you can see here when it says x is the minimum when it says y it is the maximum 5v so apparently while you are moving the s along xy it will be somewhat between 0 and 5v and then uh, depending on what you want so if you say oh, I want to do the independent variable which is the voltage uh, as say 0 0.5, 1.0, 1.5, 2.0, 2.5 .0, and so on up to 5.0 you can do it as long as you just find a point and keep putting your eye on the voltage voltmeter then then you will be able to do it right you don't have to adjust or ask the school to buy expensive uh, power supply okay so this is a very important skill uh, for if you want to do an experiment with a device like this okay um, at the same time um, the idea is actually quite simple but then uh, it's actually a very smart design to investigate uh, whatever device you want to find for its resistance